Saturday, the 29th of February 2020, it's a home match for the Black Knights FC playing against Moyale Jr. After a travailing first half which almost bore no fruits, it was a second half relief for the Knights with the first goal from striker Eriko, which saw the Knights ahead with a 1 0 victory. However, the joy was short lived when Moyal FC equalized with a thrilling corner shot goal from one of their strikers. The Knights soon saw themselves ahead with a 2 1 victory, ahead a goal from striker Eriko again. The opponents were soon to pull off an equalizer as the tough match progressed. However, the Knights garnered a third goal from Muli, giving them a 3-1 comfortable lead ahead of Moyale Jr. This 3-1 lead did not go down well with the opponent's team, with some of their players getting emotional at the slightest provocation. The 90 minute whistle was blown and the Knights walked home with victory. This came as a relief after a previous match where they'd only managed a 1 1 draw against ABC Junior FC at Mahiga Primary School. <laughs> And after the game, every player's efforts were appreciated, including defender Robert Nzai and the man of the match, Mr. Paolo, the goalkeeper himself, who saved the day. And in every game, the moral support is highly appreciated, led by one Mr. Mark himself. We appreciate the fans for their support and the spirit of encouragement. And as one Mr. Masinda said, we take every game as a final, and so we prepare for the best. After the game, it was time for the officials to have their say. Some of the players were also interviewed, and this is what they had to say about the game. From minute 0 0.001 to 90 plus. Uh, the first half was was a bit uh, not not okay. It was it was fair, but in the second half it was. Uh, I guess after after the team talk. Eh, psychic panda. 
Yeah. During the they did a lot of work during during half time. Half time. Yeah. yeah. So kudos to them. I didn't play, but it was amazing watch. Good. <laughs> Next time, I'm happy. Three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. Three points. 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 Three I think there was a change of tactic in the second half which gave us the upper hand because we managed to uh, get the upper hand and we managed to score three goals in the second half after the change of tactics which I think was, was the thing that made us win. Well. Team effort. I, today we fought. Today we fought well. I, I really commend the, the way the team played. We fought really hard. Any plans? I think it's it's back to the week. Uh, we we take each game as a final. It's back to training, training hard, and each each game is a final. We take each game as a final, and we've not won yet. There's still more to come. There's still a lot of hard times to come. We have to train hard during this week for the next match in preparation. Any plans the uh, next game? Three points. We have a plan of each three games, a minimum of seven points. Started with four points. So, but one game, three points. The game was good. Yes. Um, scored three. Yes. The other team scored one. Um, the game was very competitive, very engaging. Uh, my fans will enjoy, my players will enjoy. Um, it will easily happen. We have a fight here and there, disciplinary issues, uh, but it's the Sotiwa, Arefa. We appreciate. Uh, your team, uh, they did a good job. They did a good job. Strength is almost equal. We are both teams, but uh, we won, and that's a good thing. So we're hoping for better next time, better performance, better logistics, better fans, better everything. But everything was good. The Black Knights chairman, Mr. C. Omusita, had also much to say, including the plans they have as a team, all which act as a driving force for the team and the matches to come. Um, I'd say the players' skills have really improved. Their ability to control their emotions within the game has been amazing. Considering the opponents of Fika Majo and Figana, but our guys were so confident, so committed on their good game. But I'm even more thankful uh, for the support that has come from the church, uh, specifically from the men. This morning we didn't have even money to get into the grounds to mark, but even before the match began, everything was sorted. On the Pula Mandizi, on the Kunyo Maji, they played, which is a great thing. Now, Mishinda. 3-1, and I'm sure you can see at the encourage Hey, I love our mothers as we do you are the Tika Ugali, Namayai, Boga, Otto Alikula, Baka, we were worried when we shiba sana out of Shindo Kibia. So I am so thankful for all this support. Mungu and Lego are the Shia son. Now, aside from just uh, the matches, we have established a discipleship program for them. Uh, we have divided the, the players into four groups of around 10 people each. Some have nine, uh, but the target is 10 per group because we have about 38 players. Um, each group has a different person in charge, and uh, the hope is that it is more effective in really impacting these people, not only physically through their talents, but also spiritually in their hearts through the discipleship. And I am appealing for as much support as can be brought forward for that particular thing. When you're on the on the leisure, the people would like to come and encourage them and uh, many things. Please come forward. Don't ever let us on the phone.